Hey, what's up, MD? Juan Diesel here with John De La Rosa. We're six and a half weeks out of the Mr. O here at Ben Francis Powerhouse Gym, and we're about to kill some shoulders. I like it. Now it's a party. All right, guys, here we go. I'm about to take my pre workout, and then after that, I'm gonna put aminos into my juice that I'm gonna be drinking while I'm training. So, this is the new flavor, great pre shot. Put this into a crystal light. Now we just take um, some e shot, put a scoop into my drink, some minos. And uh, this is you guys who see me drinking this while I train. Now it's a party. Come on, John. Hey, what's up, MD? Juan Diesel here with John De La Rosa. Um, we just had a really good shoulder workout. It's always good when we train together. We push each other. We train hard. Um, so we started off with some laterals, superset with rear delts. Movement I always do. I always superset my um, laterals with rear delts. So um, don't always start with laterals. Sometimes I might end with them, as you know, shoulders are a dominant body part for me. So I don't have a particular order which I do the movements. But the way I did bring up my shoulders were starting off with laterals. Actually, that that superset right there. That's a, a way that I was able to bring them up. You can't hold the weight like that while you're doing side laterals and it's too heavy. That's how you build a good pair of shoulders by taking some lighter weight and just concentrating and be able to do each set and contracting the muscle on the top. Might look like we're going fast, but in reality is we're getting a good squeeze on the top. <clears throat> What's going on, MD? John De La Rosa here. Uh, again, recapping our uh, awesome workout with Juan Moreau. Um, I mean, there's not much to say. Juan's got some of the best shoulders in the IFBB. So, you know, training with him, um, especially in this body part, uh, you know, you just kind of follow along and <laughs> do what he tells you to do because he's got some of the best shoulders. But uh, the movement after we did after uh, side laterals was uh, dumbbell presses. We went pretty heavy there. We pushed up to about 150 pound dumbbells uh, for a good 10 reps. Um, you know, uh, definitely a staple movement. And you definitely want to do some presses in every workout that you do for shoulders. Um, I think it's a great mass builder. Um, you know, again, we're in our prep for the O, so it's good to keep a, a good mass building exercise in there. Let's work. Let's work. Come on. Yeah. Not strong enough yet. Yep. Oh. So next we did um, Smith Machine barbell presses and um, went pretty heavy there too. Um, they didn't know how heavy we were going to go. We just kind of went with how we felt. And um, it's actually something I, I if, if anybody who knows the way I would train back a year ago, I used to just pick them up off the floor and just press them. But for the last year, ever since I had tendonitis on my elbow, I started going to the Smith Machine and it, it completely eliminates all the tendonitis and I feel no pain in my elbow. Now that it's a lot better, 
I'm able to do shoulder presses on the dumbbells, which I wasn't able to do that for a while. Um, but I still feel a little bit when I was getting up to the 150s, I felt a little bit of the tendonitis. So, you know, I mean, it's a work in progress. Um, I'm going to go back to my camp and have him work on my elbow a little bit because it was completely gone for a while for the whole complete prep of Brazil, New York, and, and, and um, Toronto. I had no tendonitis. Coming back a little bit now. But, um, yeah, we did. Oh, Smith and she presses. It's very great. You know, I isolate my shoulders, targets just the shoulder. And after I've used so much free weights for a long time, now I'm able to do Smith machine and and, and able to get away with that. But, I'm, I, you know, for guys who are coming up and trying to learn how to, I mean, trying to build shoulders, I recommend staying with free weights. Uh, let's go. Last one. So for you guys that see that, I'm not locking down, I'm not going all the way to the top. I'm keeping the tension on the shoulders. When I go up, I feel the, the pressure on my triceps and on my joints. So I just keep the pressure, keep the pump right on the shoulders. It's not that I'm doing half reps and you know, you guys think, oh, well, he needs to do full reps. You know, um, keeping tension on the shoulders, getting a good pump, chasing the pump, works, works for me, works for a lot of pros, you know. I'm, some people like to do uh, full extensions, you know, and that's not a wrong way of doing it either. Different ways of training. Again, you'll see, yeah. Again, you'll see that same thing with me. I'm not going all the way up and locking out. Um, I think as you learn your body and you train, just like Juan said, you kind of figure out what works best for you. Um, so you'll see certain movements where I'll go full, some I don't. Same thing with Juan, you'll see sometimes he'll go full, sometimes he doesn't. It all depends on how you, you're, you feel that day and what's giving you the best pump. I think that's what makes us professional bodybuilders is understanding and learning how to take that pump and that's what's going to make the muscle grow so for all you guys out there before you criticize us and say uh, you guys aren't using heavy weight or you guys aren't doing full reps get under the bench do it the way we're doing it and you tell me how it feels and i guarantee you you're going to like it you're going to get a good pump and you might grow from it After the uh, military presses on the Smith machine, we went to behind the neck presses. Um, I like doing behind the neck presses because for me, it, it enables me to target my side head of the shoulder as well as the um, front head. So, you know, for me, I'm always trying to create width in my, in my structure and my physique. So, um, you know, anything that I can do to get more blood into the side head of the delt. Um, I, I love to do and this movement actually does it really well for me so that along with side laterals are, are staples in my in my every shoulder workout um, definitely recommend trying them out if you haven't hey what's up guys so we're six and a half weeks out from the mr. O very excited to be getting up on that stage this year I mean first time and I feel real good going into it am I my what are my expectations not to win them so no of course not I just want to be able to place top 10 and I'm hoping to do that I feel that I've been adding a little bit of muscle so I'm going to be big enough to be able to hopefully crack the top 10 that's my goal you know um just bring my best be my best and have fun up there I'm not there to compete against nobody um I know that's the name of the game is get on stage and you know, compete against others, but reality is, it's not. Then, you know, you're there and the judges like your physique, then they'll put you in what place they believe you will be. It's not a boxing match where you're um, boxing against somebody else. And it's all, you know, it's a subjective sport, you know, I mean, everybody has a different taste on Bible. This You have a lot of fans who think I'm number one. You have a lot of fans who think that John is number one. So, you know, it's, it, no, there's no wrong or right, you know, it's, like I said, my goal is just to place top 10, and I'm very excited. I'm going to have a very, um, very, very, very interesting few weeks after the O, because I'm going to do Spain, then I'm going to do Prague, Dubai, 
San Marino. So I'm going to do the whole tour, which I'm looking forward to because I usually get better after every show. So I'm very, very excited to, you know, get on stage and finish off the year in a very fun manner. To me, it's fun because I love being on stage and competing. So this whole aspect to me is fun. The part that's going to get boring for me is going to be the off season because then what am I to do? I'm just going to eat, sleep, and train. I mean, basically what I do now, but now I have a goal. All right, guys, I um, want to give a shout out to um, my family, MD, Steve Blackman, um, Gear, um, Bev and Steve, you know, the, um, my boy John, Akeem. I'm not going to go I can go on forever, but my wife, my amazing wife, who she is so amazing, my parents, and I love all you guys, all my fans. I see you guys in the next video. A uh, big shout out to MHP, my sponsors, um, Muscular Development, um, all my fans out there, absolutely my family, and my wife as well for standing behind me. Um, I have great friends in my corner like Juan and Victor, Akeem, you know, the whole East Coast crew, Marco Rivera, Yashira. Um, thank you all for your love and support, and, you know, we're going to be at the Olympia in six weeks celebrating. And in the famous words of Juan Diesel Morel, now it's a party. <laughs> that, that, that's all, folks. Now it's a party.